Hey there, welcome back to my channel. And I am coming at you with the very last video of our January movie lettering challenge. I just have to say, I love how January ends on a Sunday. So we can actually start fresh with Monday the 1st, a fresh page in our lettering uh, planners. And yeah, so we have three days to letter. And for Friday the 29th, the word for the day from When Harry Met Sally is midnight. And of course, midnight is a common theme throughout that movie. And especially at the end, that's when they finally fall in love and the movie comes to a very happy close. It's all at the stroke of midnight. He runs and catches up with them, with her at the New Year's Eve party and awesome awesome movie <laughs> let's go ahead and jump in and letter all right so we've talked a bit about m's um i am going to continue with the three hump m so don't forget thin up stroke thick down stroke pick up your pen and repeat We did those eyes last week, so just a nice, simple, thick downstroke. Uh, D's, so don't forget we're making the O's. Loop that up. Another I. G's again, play into that O stroke. And T's, we practice those strokes along with the eyes. So let's dot those eyes, cross that T, give it a little flourish if you want. Um, there, that's it, that's midnight, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish this section in this style. Okay, that is it for midnight. And that brings us to our bonus row. And for the bonus row, let's go ahead and do some more practice with our capital letters. And if you are new here, um, I have a slightly different style for my preferred capital M and I will go ahead and demonstrate that for you. So for the capital M, I like to do a thin up stroke loop it around, thick down stroke, and then repeat. Thin up, loop it, thick down. And there you go. Fix that kind of weak stroke there. Um, so again, with capital letters, it is up to you if you wanna connect them to the neighboring lowercase letter. You don't have to. This is drawing, it's not necessarily strictly just about handwriting rules that you know you learned in school um, you can make the rules here in this case I normally don't connect them I think I'm actually going to so I started a little upstroke here and then we'll go into our I so nice thick downstroke and Let's simplify some of this since I do a lot of loopy things. Um, let's just play with some different styles here. So for a D, we still want to do the little circle, but we can do just a nice simple downstroke. We can simplify that N. Less loopy H. And 
and instead of a swirly little tea there, I will keep it simple. Um, yeah, so that's midnight and I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time. Okay, that wraps it up for Friday the 29th and hold on just one second for Saturday the 30th. All right, welcome back and it is time to letter Saturday the 30th and I have switched back to my orange Tombow Fude pen. Uh, what I was using yesterday was, or for yesterday's word, was my black Tombow Fude pen. I do have a few other types of pens that I'll eventually rotate in, but the Tombow Fude pen is my ultimate, ultimate favorite. And I recommend it for, especially for beginners, but, um, you know, with planners, we write in a lot of small spaces, and I think this is the easiest pen to do that. So let's jump in. For Saturday the 30th, we actually have a phrase, and that is last page. And if you remember from the movie, this is actually from the beginning of the movie. Um, Harry describes his dark side in that he likes to, when he's reading a book, immediately jump to the last page so he knows how it ends just in case he dies before he can finish it. <laughs> and this one always makes me laugh because I have to confess, not for the same reason, but I do the same thing just because I can't wait to find out how it ends. <laughs> um, but without further delay, let's go ahead and get that lettered. So last page, um, now, you have a choice with these lowercase l's of where you want to start it. You can start the lowercase l at the very, very bottom line, or you can start it somewhere in between. And I prefer to start mine somewhere in between. So I don't think I'm going to do it quite at the 9 o'clock. I think I'm going to take it maybe around the 8 o'clock. So nice, thin down, thin upstroke, thick down down and S. we've done those T strokes before very simple just a nice thick down stroke there you have last and then page I like to keep my lowercase P's pretty simple just a nice thick down stroke pick up your pen There you go. A. Don't forget to notice some of the similar strokes that you're doing from letter to letter. So the only difference between that A and that G is that the line extends down to hook that G. Um, it's essentially identical strokes. So we did basically an O and then a thick down stroke And there you have it, that is last page. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and finish this section. Okay, that is last page, and I am going to still leave this little white space here. As you can see, I kind of ran out of room there. But that brings us to our last, to our bonus row here. And let's see here, what do we want to do? Um, let's go ahead and play with our little writing, our smaller writing, and go ahead and half the space that we have here. If you are new to my channel, um, I like to sometimes use the bonus rows to actually practice smaller writing. Since a lot of us who practice hand lettering also probably play with various planners and bullet journals, um, a lot of times you just don't have the kind of space that this planner offers in those other planners and journals. So. Um, by having this space, it'll give you really good practice on maybe how you would want to incorporate lettering like this into your day-to-day -day planners and journals. 
Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so let's do our little loop. Smaller writing always throws me for a loop for just a second. Really have to change your thought process. There. That is actually not too bad at all. Nice and small, and I'll definitely be able to squeeze in a lot more than I did with the big font. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the row in this style and speed it up a little bit. Okay, that finishes the bonus row. And just like a little side note for you here, if you really want to get like the absolute max out of these lettering pages, you can actually practice this smaller font both on the upper half of a single row and the lower half. Just think of how much you could squeeze into one day's worth of practice. I don't know if I have the hand strength, honestly, but I thought I'd throw it out there as kind of a thought. So that wraps it up for Saturday the 30th, and hold on just one second, and we will start Sunday the 31st. Okay, let's go ahead and get Sunday the 31st lettered, and the word for today might actually seem a little bit weird when you think about it. The word for today is Amanda, and if you'll remember, Amanda, Harry's ex-girlfriend from the very beginning of the movie, Amanda Reese? Or Rice, <laughs> you tell me. Amanda Reese um, is basically the reason they were together. You know, um, she kind of connected them and they hated each other. But if it wasn't for her, they would have never taken that awful road trip together and may have never actually gotten together. So thank you, Amanda Reese, right? Um, so let's jump in and get this lettered. I have flipped back to my black Tombow Fude pen and let's do this. So for, since we have a name here, um, I will tell you, you can make, you make the rules here. If you don't want to capitalize the A in Amanda, you don't have to. I'm going to, but I keep my capital A's fairly simple. It's basically just a gigantic version of the lowercase a. So I just do a very large kind of oval here. Nice thick downstroke. I like to do those three hump M's. Circle for the D, loop it around. All right, that's it for Amanda. So this is a really good word to practice with your, your O strokes and then even just the simple, you know, kind of upside down U with between the M's and the M and the N. Um, so nice, easy word, and I'm going to go ahead and speed up the rest while I finish this up. brings us to the very last bonus row for our When Harry Met Sally lettering. And to wrap it up, I think we touched on this briefly in the last video. I think we are going to do another practice at bouncing the letter. And one reason why I really like this planner for bouncing practice and why I like to save it for my bonus row is this little teal line that we have here 
in that, um, you know, the very top of that line is your typical, you know, bottom line that we have. But when we're bouncing, we're going to intentionally take it below that line. And this little teal line is also a basically another good guideline that you could use to know maybe how far down you want to bounce it. And it would help you keep it consistent with the letters that you do want to bounce, if that makes any sense at all. Um, all right. So... I think for bouncing Amanda, I think we are going to bounce the M, the N, and the A. Now, there's not really a hard, fast rule on this. Um, I have a tendency, I like to bounce on average maybe about every other letter. Um, there are some letters that are easier to bounce than others, and you can smush them together. Um, it really is totally up to you. Um, I'm not really going to change the overall style of the letters all that much. We're just going to bounce them. Um, so let's get that A going. No, I'm not bouncing that. I'm going to bounce that. Not bouncing the D. And I will bounce the A to finish it off. Now that's not too bad. So as you can see, I use the bottom little part of that thick teal line to kind of make sure that they all kind of matched across the board. Lots of different ways to bounce. This is just the way that I kind of taught myself how to do it. So I am going to do this one more time to wrap this up. Okay, that's the bonus row, practicing our bounce writing. And that is it for January, but we have one more section to finish, and that is the weekly lettering that is in each one of these planners. And if you hold just one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I have switched back to my orange food pen because I love seeing the pattern of the black and another color. And let's dive in and see what our practice is today. So we are going over the letter A this time. And it says, combine the O and the I strokes to create the letter A. These are two separate strokes to help control speed and pressure. It's actually kind of awesome and I did not plan it this way that we chose Amanda as the word yesterday as that has three A's in it. Um, so as you'll see here with the O's that we're starting the O roughly around the um, I'll call that like the two o'clock spot. We're not starting it at the 12. You're starting it at the two o'clock spot because that can help you blend it better and not make it so disjointed. So you just follow that around. Don't forget the thick downstroke. And then when you're finished, you pick up your pen. Then here you'll see, um, it's basically an eye stroke that you'll do a single line starting at that midline, a thick downstroke, finish it up just a little bit below where you started your stroke. And when those are combined, that makes the A. Pretty simple. I am going to do a couple of rows in just a, just a classic A, and then I'll do a couple of rows practicing it in smaller print. Um, there's not a lot of variety that I've really seen or played around with as far as like different styles for a lowercase A. Um, there may be some, but I'm just going to keep this in the style that I'm used to because that's what I'd recommend once you find a letter style that you like, stick with it, practice it, become an expert at that one style, and then play around. Um, so let's, let's get it going here. So we are going to do that O. So as you'll see, my connection is not quite perfect, but what's great about this is 
you're picking up your pen, you're doing multiple strokes, and you can cross over when you do that, basically the eye stroke, you'll fix any little funny connections that you'll make. So thick down stroke. There you have it. Let's do it again. Oh. Hey, that's a good one. I. O. And an I. One more time. O. I. Yeah, I like the way that turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this section. I like to fill my sections up. I know I could probably leave it at this, but I like to fill these sheets in and I hope you'll go ahead and do it too. I did not pause between the two between the two different versions that I did here because the concept of the letter is literally identical. Basically, all I did was half the size of what I did. Basically, I just imagined a different little mid um, guideline there. Probably went a little bit above what the true halfway mark would be on that. But that wraps it up. That is the A. And that wraps up When Harry Met Sally. I hope you will stay tuned because Pretty Woman is coming up next for the month of February. I hope if you want to stick around, let's connect outside of YouTube. I am at Feel Good Plans on Instagram and I will be posting videos of my Pretty Woman lettering. I hope you'll join me 